Now, as a Welshman living in England, I am effectively, well, kind of, an immigrant. I come from a different country, different culture, different language. Welsh is my first language. I was brought up in deepest, darkest North Wales, where during the 80s, English holiday homes were burnt down. The locals started speaking Welsh in pubs whenever English people walked in. And I had Plaid Cymru voting dickheads, left-wing Marxist teachers educating us about the evils of the English and the British Empire. Of course, I never fell for any of that. I was determined to leave the toilet that is Wales by serving in Her Majesty's Armed Forces, which I did. And through fate, I've ended up here. And I'll tell you what, I love living here. England's great. The best people I've ever known are English. The best friend I've ever had is English. And I think I've integrated rather well. I don't slag the English off. And if their national anthem, God Save the King, or even when God Save the Queen was played, I always stood up and sang. I did my bit. And I expect others to do as well. Because in my opinion, the English have been shat on now for quite some time. They've been blamed for absolutely everything that goes wrong in the world. And it's not on. And I am so passionate about sticking up for the English that when I hear of the new English football manager refusing to sing the national anthem, I get offended on their behalf. And so the new England football manager is someone called Lee Kersley. They played against the Irish team last night and they won 2-0, fair play. And you know, he kind of reminds me of the bold middle-aged rugby fanatics in North Wales who think they're the bee's knees, but actually they're quite shit. Now the guy was born in Birmingham and he played for Ireland uh, due to it being on his grandmother's side, but still. If he can speak English, then he can sing the bloody national anthem, can't he? I mean, he'll take the 300 grand pay that comes with a job, so what's the bloody problem? If Sven Goran Eriksson could try and sing the national anthem when uh, he was manager, then surely this idiot can give it a go, couldn't he? Now, he didn't have to announce this, he didn't have to say or tell anyone that he doesn't intend to sing the national anthem, so why say that? What was the point? Was he trying to score points with his uh, former Irish fans? Now, if he hadn't said that and he was stood in the dugout and he wasn't singing, nobody would have noticed, but he made a point of saying that and therefore alienating a lot, I mean a hell of a lot, of English fans and they're not happy with this. You're meant to be patriotic when you're the English footballer, manager and player. But for some reason he doesn't want to be. I mean, it's not too much to ask, is it? Is it? I mean, can you imagine the uproar if a foreign... Uh, team had their manager not sing the anthem it would be outrageous and rightly so and it's these lefty idiots who are singing his praises and they're hypocrites they reckon he shouldn't be singing the uh, national anthem because football isn't political they're the same ones who like it when the england football team take a knee to support black lives matter so it swings around abouts with these people as usual so in my view i think it should come with a job the england manager should be singing the national anthem and if he can't be bothered then sack him and that's what i think let me know what you think in the comments i'm paz 49 thanks for watching and until the next time roger trout